organized in the new year is one of the most popular resolutions. And do-it-yourself expert, Tamika Fletcher, owner of Natural Resources Salon, is here to share some of her ideas, some I've seen before, but she's going to let everybody <laughs> know about them. You really have some clever ideas. Yes, some of these are old tricks, but they still work. The toilet paper holders are fantastic ways to separate your cores. I know they drive me nuts. Mm -hmm. You can even label them if you needed to. I've just used some simple decorative tape and a little gift wrap. If you have something that, like gift wrap that's left over, you're trying to figure out what to do with it, this is a great way. Use it to decorate the toilet paper holders. Makes really great ways to separate the cords. You gave me a really wonderful idea because I just <laughs> used the uh, the holder itself <laughs> for the cord. But you're making it sort of pretty now. And you can even add Velcro if you have different size co cords if you want to close it and open it to fit, you know, a larger set of cords. It works great. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so what do we have here? This is a simple shoe box, but what makes this unique is I've covered the lid and the top of the lid and the bottom in gift wrap but I used a piece of cardboard to add a small partition in the middle it's also covered with gift wrap it gives me a great way to separate my makeup brushes my actual makeup and just anything that you need to separate you can even make smaller uh, partitions if you need to but what an easy thing to do couldn't be easier to make and I'm sure you have a shoe box and cardboard at home already Oh, you know it too. <laughs> okay, now this is a much larger box. This is not actually a larger box. This is five small boxes stacked on top of each other. Really? This makes a fantastic filing system. So easy. Now, don't go running out to FedEx and, and grabbing all the free boxes. <laughs> I would say <laughs> save the boxes that you have coming in the mail, some boxes that you had left over from Christmas. I use hot glue. Now, you could use lots of wrapping tape to wrap it together, uh -huh. or you can just stick them together with hot glue. I cut the flaps off the front with scissors, and now this box is ready for filing. It really does look nice. Okay, I see some um, some shower hooks, well, hooks yes, here yes. and also some what do you call those handles? It is. The, two different things. One of the things that drives me crazy is my scarves and belts. I can never figure out a great way to organize them. This is actually the system that I use in my own home. I have galvanized steel. This is like a plumbing pipe and mm -hmm. I just use uh, the elbow pieces to attach it to the wall if you can kind of see there um, that that's what you would use to attach the system to the wall. But just shower hooks. You can use shower hooks to hang your scarves, to hang your belts. This is just an old scrap piece of wood that I got from my handyman and he is awesome for keeping those kind of small things around but I use decorative doorknobs screw them in they can be maybe two dollars a piece at Pier One this time of year especially those kind of things are on sale I use some bracelets that I had in my jewelry box to use the ring to hang on the actual knob to hang the scarves on again all super basic ideas and almost free and it makes it easy for you to to see what you need on any yes. given day yes well to make a thank you so very much and thank <laughs> you for bringing in the hat happy new year happy new year <laughs> <laughs>